when Peter Ely, who was a curator from MoMA, who MoMA PS1, started to work on the exhibition, I was very, uh, I was very proud of him and very proud of MoMA to do that because I knew how difficult the reception of her work had been traditionally in this country. The exhibition is called Double Trouble, which reprises a quote from an interview that she gave in the last 15 years where she talks about the perverse simultaneous double trouble of being ahead and also being behind. She joked often that she had no curators on her exhibitions and I think that points to one of the central ways in which she saw her practice functioning in that she made most of the decisions that we associate with curatorial work. It became very important for me to be able to uh, host uh, a sort of retrospective here uh, in Los Angeles and at MoCA. We are one of the rare museums to have major work in our collection. One Stella and one Jasper Jones. And you know, we might be the only actually museum having you know, this group of important work in our collection. The exhibition itself has about 40 works that cover the entire career of Sturtevant. What was fascinating and what the exhibition shows is how much she uh, was working in real time. She was not waiting for art history to capture uh, and rubber stamp an artist. So she worked with Warhol, and that's what the exhibition shows when Warhol was working. She worked with Felix Gonzalez Torres when Felix Gonzalez Torres was working. So she, was, she had this immediate uh, ability to capture the most important aesthetic uh, breakthrough of her time. The nature of her work really kind of brushed the art world the wrong way. Uh, she pushed many taboos in the art community, in the art world, and she had no patience for, uh, for mediocrity. She had no patience for people who were not doing uh, their homework. And until the end, she had this level of her standards were so, so high. She was, uh, she was quite wonderful.